Hey guys, this is Tony with NTB Dropping, and here we combine mental health and mountain biking to create this awesomeness that I call my channel. Now let's get into it. All right guys, so I'm leaving today and I'm at the campsite right now and I'm packing, I'm gonna be packing up. Uh, basically got everything organized. I wanted to show you guys what it like, what I went through and what I had to do and the things that I needed to camp here at Moab. So I completely went about this, like I, I wanted it to do the cheapest way possible. I have no money right now, but I wanted to do this. I heard there was first come, first serve campsites here um, at Moab. And this is the 128, I guess, highway. So basically we're along the, the river. They have campsites everywhere, down, all along down this river. And actually the whole enchilada spits you out just down the road over there. So perfect place to camp for sure. I didn't want to book a campsite because the book a campsite out here one it's hard during this time of year because they're taking but two they're like a hundred and something dollars you know a night and everything like that so I heard there was first come first serve and they are twenty dollars a night and I just couldn't believe that these first come first serve sites were just along this river like this all along here we are we are literally literally in a canyon it's ridiculous for twenty dollars a night Hey guys, before I forget, I wanted to let you guys know about the campsites. There's no like clean running water here, so, and you can fish out of here. I don't know what you could fish out of, but yeah, I wouldn't, I don't, that's, that's a separate subject anyway. But they have a bathroom right over there. So you can go to the bathroom, and the other thing that I, I definitely got that you guys might want to see that really, I, I didn't really know about them, but they're super useful. Um, these are shower wipes. So basically I took a shower with these wipes every night, and... I got these flushable, uh, they're biodegradable like wipes. They were like $3, they were like $6 I think for a pack of three. So me and my brothers got some epic pictures from up here. We hiked literally just, we just started hiking up. It wasn't even a designated trail. We were just like, let's just go. Let's just go as high as we can go. We went freaking high. Super dangerous, not recommended for anyone at all. I'm just telling you we did it and I'm telling you I had a blast, but don't try it at home or don't try it here. Just, just, it was amazing. All right guys, so this is my water. This is awesome, because this can act as a faucet if you need it and everything like that. So this is a two gallon little tank here. Um, very, very useful. I got a five gallon, filled up a five gallon there. This lasts me about two days, three days, depending on how many people are with you. And a stove that runs on propane tanks. I got six tanks, did not need to get six tanks, but it hooks up right here. I got this cookware. Um, it actually just goes together like this. Oh, okay. And you're just you're done that's it so i've been able to get by with making oatmeal i've been making eggs i've been making bacon i've been making sausage all with this pan and these things right here so you can boil some water make your coffee so speaking of which coffee um this aeropress is probably the greatest invention since sliced bread i'm just gonna say it for real and this air press makes some of the best coffee like i've literally ever had so what you do pretend my hand is a cup you put it over the cup you pour the coffee grounds in there, shake it a little bit, make it level, pour the water in, take this thing and push it all the way down till it's all the way done, boom, and then your coffee cup, coffee cup, your cup of coffee is now done. So this, these are cool. These can be used as like coffee mugs or whatever um, for your oatmeal, all that. It, it's just cool. I don't like paper plates. I don't like to bring a bunch of plates. I literally just stick to this set if you have two if you have three or more people i would think about getting two sets of this these are really only good for two people at most and yeah so if you have more than two people definitely get um four so that way you're just stuck with these you just wash these keep it minimalist this little guy at night this little guy it is ran by the sun this is a little light i recommend getting about two or three of these and like i was sticking these in the trees and it lit up the whole tree to give us some light at night um, they're rechargeable once you're done with it you'll open this and then it'll collapse and it'll be super compact so i'd have three it'd be like a stack like this big and you just pack it away very minimalistic yet again i'm very all about the minimalist stuff nowadays all right so now i'm going to show you guys where i sleep oh and this is the bike right here can't 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 mountain bike camp without a bike this is my tent i got a blow up mattress sleeping bag zip it up and i brought a couple extra blankets and pillows 
so that's really it this tent right here super cheap everything i have in this thing is all super cheap low quality so the fire's dying out already um i got a couple more logs if the sun's coming up though i don't know how like useful that's gonna be yeah i just got my chair here and got uh, some rocks to sit on my brothers were just here too so we actually had two tents here which is pretty dope it had a great time with my brothers this was like a dream come true but you know that's essentially my little campground and basically what i did this adventure that I went on. My brothers are gone now, but my brothers just left this morning. We all we all did this together. I was gonna do this by myself, and then they hopped on with me. It's kind of cool. I was like, I'm gonna do this thing. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna do the whole enchilada. So we did the whole enchilada yesterday. So that video may be out already. I don't know. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys the campground real quick. And uh, um, again, guys, stay strong, keep pedaling, guys. We're dropping out, and don't forget to click those uh, links in the description. Subscribe, hit the bell, do all that. All right, guys. Talk to you guys soon.